Good afternoon everyone. This is my uh, day 11 of my 30 day video challenge. Today I learned uh, and today I learned that it's just as important to teach your daughter about men's anatomy as it is her own anatomy and bodily functions. My daughter is lucky in terms of the knowledge that I have around men, but also around sexuality and the body um, in general. When I was growing up, <laughs> sex education was literally one video in, I think, grade five in primary school called Where Did I Come From? Um, and it was a cartoon. I can still picture it. And the cartoon sperm swimming. <laughs> and I remember being embarrassed and laughing and cringing because our parents were sitting next to us. Um, and, and, the, and the facilitator was asking lots of questions and no one wanted to put their hands up and I still remember the girl sitting in front of me her name was Holly and she kept putting her hand up um, and, and I was getting embarrassed because I was sitting right behind her she would she was like vagina period penis and I like nearly died I've never said those words I hadn't even heard those words up until that point so obviously my parents weren't comfortable with any birds and bees talks. Um, so I was handed a book from the teacher's resource library at school <laughs> and I was told to read it. I was so embarrassed. I had a sick day. I still remember it, which explains how I felt most of my life around sexuality and my body and how things function around men's bodies. Um, but now look at what I'm doing. <laughs> so it's so important to educate your kids from a young age as to how their bodily their body functions, what the body parts are called, what they do, what is healthy and what isn't so healthy, what to look for, changes they'll experience, variations on normal, right? And, and that's all before the sex education even starts. I think it's a huge problem uh, that so many people are uncomfortable talking about this basic human stuff to each other, to their kids and to their parents. And I've grown up that way. This should be the foundation of education growing up, this other stuff, this human development, psychology, human behavior, um, self-development, all of that amazing stuff should be at the foundation of this. So then if you look at sex education, parents are hardly scraping the surface and it's a huge detriment to a child's upbringing. This type of information gives a child confidence um, and it gives them the information they need to make good decisions. It gives them clarity um, and it gives them validation. So my daughter knows all about orgasms, masturbation, sexual energy, relationships, intimacy, um, emotional well-being, boundaries, consent, and she knows all about her own body and asks lots of questions all the time. She's comfortable in her own skin. She walks around naked all the time. She talks to her friends about it openly, and I'm extremely proud of how I've handled that, considering how much of a prude I was and how I was brought up. So I've broken the cycle, essentially, of shame and secrecy. Big yay. In the last few days, I've also educated her more on um, a male's anatomy and how they handle things and what they are possibly going through. She asked me um, a question that set off that conversation. She wanted to know about um, boys washing their penises because um, you know there'd been rumors or she'd been talking about it with her friends and all the kids were laughing and they were saying, oh, apparently this. And So I gave her a full lesson in what a penis is, <laughs> what it looks like, circumcision versus non-circumcision, hygiene, health issues, ejaculation, all of that, because that's what she was asking about. She's heard some of it before anyway, but I also told her some of the stories of the guy I knew growing up in terms of what can happen and what can go wrong for men um, in this era and I've and of course I've got all of this amazing knowledge and experience now in the field that I work in to explain to her as much as anyone can possibly explain to her about male sexual health it's great and I think this is a vital part of sex education that not everyone gives to their children um, and that's talking about the opposite sex in a factual way in terms of biology and, and functions and obviously I talk to her about pornography um, the dangers of the app that she uses, uh, pedophilia and the dark web, her phone safety, cyber safety, and then the conversations that she has with boys around, you know, sex and their bodies and all that stuff. So, and consent and boundaries is a huge one because not only are the boys of today growing up with pornography in their pockets, 
unfortunately, she has a lifetime ahead of her with dealing with men around this issue. So if any of you uh, have any questions around this or would like some advice on how you can talk to your kids openly about their bodies, um, about sex, about pornography, then please reach out and send me a message. I'm more than happy to have that conversation with you. So that's it from me today. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.